Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays RimWorld 1.0. We are making ourselves a nice Android repair kit that we're going to send over for old Frank over here. He's a little... He has a case of the dead. But don't worry, Shadow just, just gave us a cure. Hey, he's done it. The absolute madman. So, we don't need to actually set up our big... Our big boy transport pods for that. We need to send a small boy transport pod for that. And we're gonna do that. They don't probably don't need any fungus flammels, though. I were to guess. There you are, my sweets. Alright, send that boy over. It's gonna be great. I uh, went with a different design or theme, I should say. It has kind of a darker background. I think that makes the text easier to read. You know, people were saying they like the current one, and I don't blame you. It's, it's pretty good. Or, you know, the one for the last couple of episodes. Pretty nice. I just think this one's a little bit easier to read. Just a little bit. I mean, you know, the icons kind of clash down here a tiny bit. I don't think that's too bad. We're going to research transmutation and learn how to turn stuff into other stuff. It's going to be great. You'll love it. You'll see. Everyone should get excited immediately. Senpai and Sylvia are almost at Tropical Rainforest, by which I mean colon. It's going to be great. Zebra, thank you for the wood. I appreciate the support. Uh, it's sowing time again after the big old blight. I kind of screwed things up over here, but we're going to live. We'll be fine. And I'm going to move this down into... No, that, not like that. Got to turn it sideways. All right. Katie's doing all right. Natalie's no longer dead. As you can see, he's doing great. Dirk, you know, for some reason you don't have badges yet. I think we should fix that. Let's see. Let's give you... I don't know, man. I mean, I think you gotta... You have to have a mining badge. That's, like, obvious. Dirk does mining, my dude. I wish there was one that could denote that he's just fast. But we can give him the Sergeant Major rank for now. There we go. Sergeant Ma Major Dirkus Dwipless. Throwing down cotton at the speed of woe. Making it look easy. Making everyone else look, let's face it, bad. Alright. Don't worry, Frank. You're gonna be you're gonna be back soon. You're gonna be back, you're gonna be stronger than ever. Launch it! Put it right here. Off it goes. Nice punching bag, by the way. Nice cybernetic legs, by the way. Mm-hmm. Those are for old Francis over here. One more cybernetic leg for his cybernetic foot. We're gonna put it in. It's gonna be great. How are the boys? The boys are heading over here. I think once they hit this spot and we fight this fight, I'm gonna go ahead and send a drop pod there, let them all get in. Send that drop pod over here. That's how we're gonna get back. I hope this I hope this entire group Oh yeah, they they weigh like 737. There you go. Yeah, that's the weight of everybody, I think. So that's perfect. Alright, Dirkus McDwipless. Please. There we go. Use resurrector repair kit. On Frunk! I'm coming, my dude! Hey, nice light post, by the way. Take this! Alright. Ragamuffin, I have you building... Yeah, magnetic coils. You got 15 of them right now. We're gonna need 48 for the usual reasons. He's missing 14% of his body parts. I hope this... Does it repair them fully? KD, do you have any, like, health issues? Oh, he's got a case of the penicycline, but other than that, he's doing fine. Uh, KD. No drugs, my dude. I like it. I love it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be great. Francis is gonna get a new leg. Frank's gonna exist. We're not gonna be... It might even fix his coolant pump. Let's see. Also, we've made it to colon. Let's go take a quick look at our colon. Alright. They have gold or laboratory ret labrador retrievers. They have 
speed modules. They have architect hearing sensors and bionic eyeballs. These are the good ones, right? Uh, 150? No, these aren't the great ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also have three architect legs. Neat. They're apparently ugly. Who'd have thought? Why doesn't anybody... Why are there so many Resurrector Mech Serums, first of all? Nobody carries Fractal Enhancements anymore. They're, like, impossible to find. I don't know where they all went, man. Servo armor, nano suit helmets. I mean, they're all pretty nice. Bunch of jade sculptures that I believe you bought from us. Alright. You know what? No, no, no. Don't head the Batoro. Head the Rudin. Yeah, head the Rudin. Ha ah, ho ho! Frank has been brought back to life with no negative effects. And now he's like, I'm so happy I'm gonna have to take off all my clothes. He's back, man. We also he doesn't have his uh his assault rifle anymore. Also, he is lacking any skills at all in anything. That said, we should probably make him a weapon. I'm honestly thinking another assault rifle is probably the most appropriate as well. It's just a good weapon, you know? Frank, if we could if you could do us this quick favor. Dirk, I meant. Alright! I'm happy to have him back. He likes construction. I love having someone else who likes construction. He can haul, he can clean, he could probably hunt, which I should probably have him do it at two. Everything else he's not really that great at. Honestly, other than construction, he doesn't have the best skills in the universe. But he is very neurotic, so he works fast. His skill, his uh, mood's actually dropping. Love it. There you go. A good assault rifle for you, my dude. Go ahead and pick it up. And enjoy your life. What the hell is this? A little happiness icon over his head. Okay. Very cool. Uh, let's reduce their resistance. We're probably gonna... I still think we're probably gonna let these guys go. Their skills aren't that great. Either that or we're gonna move them into a new prison. And I could... Ooh, you know what I could do? I could put a prison up here. Fence this area in and let them work the farm. You know, that's a reasonable thing that reasonable people do. Kind of. You know, it's just an idea. Or I could make a separate farm up here for them to work. You know, they can grow their own beans. And things like that. Dadronic, looking completely impenetrable. But with his shoddy. Zebra and Miss Mask both need treatment. They still got a case of the flu. It's minor, and the immunity is kicking ass, so I think they're going to be just fine. Still waiting on that leg for Francis. Still waiting on travel for Remus and the boys. 0.7 days, they'll be there. 2.6 just to get over here? Yeah, I know having to crawl through the mountains is a freaking job, but still. How much... How much do these things weigh? Mass. <laughs> 114,000. Alright. Probably not carrying those with us. Good to know. Very good to know. Oh, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to... You know what? Let's go ahead and uninstall these, because we're gonna end up taking those to the new area. And then we can actually put a bunch of our new medical equipment in, up here. Yeah, 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 that's gonna work. In fact, move all of this stuff back to this wall. Move Gordo, I don't know where. It'll look good. Rim Atomics research popping off. We're researching energy weapons as we speak. KD got us some wood as we speak. We are once again full of nutrient paste, I believe. So... We should probably turn more of it into this. In fact, as someone suggested, we should probably just store some nutrient paste over here. 
on a tray rack. Why is this chair here? What are you doing, chair? I'm sure you used to be in front of something. And you used to have a purpose, but now you don't. Deconstruct. Yeah, so this tray rack will be only be for carrying the disgusting nutrient paste. This stuff. And as you can see, a single tray can hold 2,000 nutrient paste. So we put it over here. That'll make this trip far quicker. And the disgusting nutrient paste, it doesn't last forever, but I think it lasts for like several days? Someone feed this cockerel, please. Don't stand around. Feed my freaking rooster. So you thought I was going to say feed my cock, but I didn't say that. Hello, Grand Alliance Caravan. How you doing? Combat supply with PETA. I guess we just really don't want that red wood. And you can't tell me there's no space for it. There's plenty of space for it right here. Let me guess. Redwood is not on here. It is not. Okay. You know what? Raw resources can go here. Manufactured can go here. Items can go here. Weapons can go here. Apparel can go here. Buildings can go here. Mechanoid corpses can go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. I want it a lot. Okay. Okay. I don't know why we weren't having that stuff there in the first place. Someone come over here and build this, please, when you, once you get the chance. Katie, of course, quite the fisher bot. Part of his hunting and killing is hunting and killing fish. They just don't call it hunting and killing because I don't know why. Hello, Lizard Flommel. How you doing? Let's hunt some alpacas. And some cassowaries. But not the bumble drones. But yes, the boars. But not the bumble drones. But yes, the turkeys. But not the bumble drones. Okay. There you go, KD. Eat your stew. Um, we have finished. We've constructed a research bench. We have done some research on energy weapons. As you can see. So the next step for this project would be... Oh, the weapons research bench. Yeah. That is the next step. So... Oh, yeah. We can also request a trade ship. Yeah. Come here. It'll take two days to arrive. Awesome. Wait. Multi-analyzers work at this thing? Yeah, they do. You learn something every day. Put the weapons research bench over here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just change this zone to be like this for the mechanoid stuff. Alright, no builds here yet. So we do have to wait for that to get built before we can start the next part of the research, which is experimenting with the energy weapons. Don't worry! We're gonna have new weapons. And if you remember the Sabo rounds from out from beta 18, you're gonna You're gonna be happy to see them back. It's gonna make our offensive measures much, much more effective. You know, more spoilers for in-game, of course. Uh, let's see. Chicken, what's up with you? You got a shooting frenzy? I'm happy to hear that. You playing some arcade games? You go, dude. Hell yeah. You got so much more fun to have here. Okay, deconstruction's been done over there. Okay, th look. I understand wanting to put chocolate in here. I do. But only disgusting nutrient paste goes in here. And yes, it's important. Is this labeled as important over here? Important. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, in that case, this should be critical. This is the most important spot to put nutrient paste. Please do me this favor. Alright. And now we can just move our... Oh, Katie's doing some hunting. Finally, doing the thing that I wanted him to do all this time. Alright, move this animal bed, like, over here or something. We're gonna move all this. 
And then we're going to move the end tables, of course. No, don't don't move that yet. No, don't, don't don't move that yet. Don't don't end table moves. Okay, move all that up. I was about to thank Francis for moving it, but no, he was just uh, going to go lay down. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That'll help. Help get us a lot more nutrient stuff. Hey, he hunted a boar. What a champ. Happy to see him working again. Frank, what are you doing? What are you contributing? Cleaning. I mean, we have other bots for that, but that's okay. You can do whatever whatever you think is helping. You also like doing plant work. And, you know, we do have a lot of plant work to do. So how about we give you the growing and the plant cutting job? Well, maybe not plant cutting. Four for plant cutting, two for growing. Because that'll help improve your skills. Yeah, yeah, you can go clean some animal filth. You can go clean some more dirt, I guess. No, he just wants to clean. All right. I mean, I don't know who I would be to consider him wrong for doing that. Big dog. Building us that weapons research bench. It's going to be swood. It's going to be heckin' swood. You won't even believe it. All right, move that there. Move this lamp over here, and then move the uh, vitals monitor up here and then we have a little bit of extra space we can use and this tv becomes obsolete so we're just going to go ahead and uh, you know undo the tv all right lots of good work getting done we'll probably end up moving this dresser as well probably very cool. Also cool. I give that a cool out of cool. All right. Thank you, Gigi. You've done a lot of great work for us there. Uh, miscellanea, please. Did we ever get that trash bin? Oh, you could make the trash bin out of gold. I mean, of course. Why wouldn't you do that? Small bin requires medium support. Okay. Well, I got one over here, so that's fine. It will eventually clean up this blood. Yeah, it clean up the blood. It happened. It happened exactly like they said it would. They didn't lie. All right. Vital center. Oh, my Lord. That literally connects to every bed in the room. That is amazing. This has to be actually, like, next to things to connect, I believe. Thanks, game. Uh... Yeah, the drip stands. They actually have to be touching whatever they're going to be connected to. So I'm not sure on those yet. Oh yeah, research counters. You can apparently connect up to 20 of these. I don't think we need 20 of them. But, you know, a couple of research counters never hurt anybody. So let's get a couple of those going. File cabinets also help with research? Yes, they do. So, maybe like a steel file. Actually, you know what? That should be what goes up here instead. I don't know how much they help, but gotta have a couple of file cabinets, you know? Make them good. Make them sexy. Let's see, we have surgical instruments already. And there's more research we can do. We can learn other stuff, but I guess the vitals monitor is... The best we have to start with. That's what it's looking like, at least. Which is fine. It's a good start. We also have the uh, Crypto Sleep Suspender if we wanted. Immunity Gain Factor 115. Medical 10 Quality Offset by 15%. Rest Effectiveness is 100. Surgery Success 110. So Immunity Gain Speed 115. How does that match up against our hospital bed, though? 111. So, yeah, the Crypto Sleep bed is definitely better. I mean, that shouldn't surprise anyone. 
Aquarium Power Cells are done. At Fabricators. Okay. Highly unstable. Accelerated. Produced by accelerated uranium decay. So anything that can meet the energy needs of transmutations. Okay. We'll learn more about that shortly. 1% bonus. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'm not complaining. So, fabricator. Fabrication bench. What would it take to fabricate us some uh, power cells? Will detonate with extreme force if damaged or destroyed. Recommended storage, plasteel freezer safe. Okay. Cool. Uranium components and plasteel. Easy rares. So it's not hard to make. Oh, well, there's our weapons bench. Now we can have someone come over here and play with the research part. Experiment with energy weapons. They are not plug and play and the technology must be tested and understood. Experimentation steps can be dangerous. Why is the research inactive? That's too far away? I'm actually insulted a bit. Alright, move it over here then. Freaking hell. Dirk Twipple, what are you looking for? Gold? We lit we really don't need gold. Look for mech parts, please. I mean, I understand the want for gold, but we don't need gold. I'm trying to think, what else could I use this room for if I move the prison over here? That's kind of where my head's what my headspace is at right now. Like, yeah, I could totally get this taken out, but then what would I do with the space? Gotta do something with it. Can't just let it sit there. It's a valuable member of our society. Or so I'm pretending. Oh well, they're actually playing with the weapon stuff right now. Very cool, guys. Very shiny. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't literally need to be next to this, huh? I kind of want to see that Liberator in action. The Advanced Threat Detection Module. Adam. Upgrade module for the tax. That is... I don't remember which one. When installed, it significantly increases the power usage, increasing its range of scanning power, making it possible to detect threats at much greater distances, acting as an early warning system for potential attacks. Airborne attacks will leave lower room for warning, and smaller groups of ground units will be harder to detect, but large ground-based fighting forces will be easily detected. False positives may be possible when using the system. No. Oh. There's attacks, by the way. Yeah. I remember that. That's actually a, uh... It's actually another form of a mini-map. I mean, this one is, like, really good, but it's also kind of cool to have, like, an in-game based mini-map. Oh, yeah, it's probably time to trade. Uh, Michelle, are you still here? I mean, I don't know where you... Oh, you're literally right here. Uh, talk to PETA. Talk to Kendrick. Hello. AI core. I mean, I don't want it. Let's talk about a bandit camp quest. What do you got? Come on, baby. Game of Herb Board and a Orion Core Defense Shield. We're taking out 18 enemies. I mean, they're close by. I'll give you that. Do you have any good weapons that I could use to take out these enemies? Oh, boy. You have a titanium knife. A poly... Beta poly knife. Okay, that's something. I mean, that, that's a sweet little guy right there. Look at that damage. I'm gonna buy it. It's not that expensive. Snippers. Very nice. I don't have anything I want to sell. Ah, you know what? I don't need the minigun. Mop mask. Here, have some sculptures. We make these for funsies now. Uh, you know what? You can even take our masterworks. As long as they're made out of, like... Well, let's keep the sandstone one, right? Beauty of 5... Yeah, that can go too. The marble one. Beauty of 680. I'm probably going to keep that one. Legendary wooden one. We're going to keep that. Cataclysm by Trillium. Trillium running toward a barbarian roaring in victory. Yeah, you know we got to keep that. We're probably going to ship a lot of these out. A uranium large sculpture. 
Dude, the beauty on that is terrible. Masterwork silver. A dog holding a newborn. A dog with green. And then a legendary jade sculpture. So, of course, of Dirk Dwipple, named Freedom 004H. Inscribing his name on a long sword. Creating the swordiest sword that ever did sword. Very nice. We're going to keep those. We bought one knife. I mean, it's a good knife. Dude, nice dual wielding you got going on there, Tyler. Where's my frickin' knife? Where in the bloody butts is my knife? Oh. She's actually carrying the knife right now. Thank you, Michelle. Alright, so who should get the knife? That's the next question. I mean... Big Dog is a good candidate for it. He still needs that better belt, which is coming. Let's see. KD would actually be a good good candidate for it as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it to KD. Wield it as a sidearm. Congrats. You have a pistol, and you have one of the best knives ever. We have a couple of bots who got nothing to do. At least that's what they're telling me. They could be lying. Uh, can we get, like... You know what? Birch. Can we get, like, Birch to operate on Francis? I feel like Birch should have all of the, the perfect set of skills to actually make that operation a success. All right. Research done. We've experimented with en with energy weapons. Now we got to construct the semi-automated combat station or command station. Excuse me. The SAX. It's a target acquisition computer con required by all energy weapons. Networks all rheumatomics weapons that share the same power net. Then assigns targets using the onboard sensors of the weapons combined with the thing. So this is dangerous because this can actually cause some problems when weapons don't go well. So I'm still gonna build it. This is like our research station, so I need like a separate Rimatomics command station. That's what I'm gonna need. Rimatomics, here we go. This is our sack. It's a nice sack, you'll like it, but you know, this was the one that I get to play with. Where am I going to put my sack? I could put my sack over here. And I think this is where I'm going to lay down my sack for everyone to see. Let's make it out of steel. And what we're going to do is this. And fill in the rest with deep water bridge. We're going to have a door over here. Oh no, Birch! You goofed it! Ninety-six percent chance. All right. Well, we're making another cybernetic leg. Thankfully, they're relatively cheap. All right. Next time, we're gonna just put you in the right place and everything. I mean, relatively cheap. We still have to make advanced components for them, which takes forever. Or we can just ship them over from from here. Because as you know, Dirk Dwipple makes them in like two seconds. Yeah, in fact, let's launch another group of them. 25 advanced components, please. Dude, look how much silage we have now. Our animals can eat forever. this over here and then what we can do is fill in all the blanks nice spear by the way good job Jeb look at that artifact quality glitter tech disinfecting spear ups medical 10 quality ups surgery success chance lowers food poisoning chance that is an amazing spear for a doctor
and literally no one else. Uh, send it over here, please. Thank you. So who's who's our best doctor over here? Because I kind of want to give him that spear now. Uh, Rumo? Rumo's really our best doctor? That's what it's looking like right now. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be that way. You don't think that's how it'd be, but then you take another look and that's how it do. Okay. I guess you're gonna have a spear. So I'll tell you what. Uh, drop... Where, where'd you go, Rumo? Drop this sword. And when you're done schmooth, schmoozing with someone here, go ahead and pick up this... Wait, there you go. Drop that as a primary. Pick this up as your primary. Don't worry about hunting. Nice charming, my dude. All right, and with that charming, apparently it's going to be the end of this episode. That's going to be it for the that plays uh, Rim World a 1.0. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because we're going to keep coming. Most coming. There's more stuff on the way. Be excited, because you know I am. We're going to have a new Rim Atomic station. You don't. You might not know inherently where I'm going with this yet, but I do, and I think it's going to work out amazingly. Anyway, thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Rimworld 1.0. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.